I am counting down the days that I get to drive this butte. Man, I'm gonna miss you. I had so many fun memories taking this guy up to 150 miles an hour in a safe place, of course, and taking all these twists and turns through the mountains on the freeways. This thing is fucking beautiful. But my lease is up, and um, so I have to turn it in within a month. And I'm a dad now. And as you can see, whoa, this thing is crazy small and packed. I mean, it's a race car, it's a bona fide race car. So everything's like really tight. There's no space for anything. And it's just for you to, to drive. And the, the uh, car seats even hugs your lats like really, really well. And it's seven speed manual. So it's made to be driven. When you're taking turns, it asks you to go faster, literally. I can see why all kinds of celebrities die driving this car because it just keeps going faster 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 and it just feels more and more in control until the point you lose control and then you smash and then you uh you bust a paul walker too soon but that's actually what happened so i gotta turn this guy in and um i was thinking about another lease oh a lot of you guys ask me what's the difference between leasing and buying and um when you lease a car you're technically renting it long term so whether for two years or three years and at the end of the lease, you turn the car in and you don't owe, you don't own anything and you don't owe anything. And then when you buy a car, it's just like uh, buying something on credit, like you're making payments. And then if you turn it in halfway or you sell it halfway, you own part of it and you, you pay an interest plan. And so a lot of people would go, well, why would anybody want to lease? You're paying all this money and then you don't even own any of the car and you're turning it back in. And the reason is if you're a business or depending on how you incorporate and do your taxes, if you lease, there are much higher tax benefits. So in my specific city and state, which varies all the time because of the laws, in my specific city and state and the way I incorporate my business, if I lease a vehicle, I get to deduct it 100%. If I buy a vehicle, I only get to deduct it 50%. So for example, if a car's lease is like 1500 or something, uh, I get to deduct $1,500 a month off my taxes versus for the same car, if I'm paying $1,500 a month, uh, I only get to deduct $750, you know? So um, it, it's just how you're playing with money. There's no right or wrong. It just depends on what fits your specific needs. And up to this point, because I really like changing cars and messing around and, uh, and always trying new things, I leased majority of my cars. The truck over there, the Bearmobile, that guy I bought because um, that guy I bought because I knew I was gonna mod him and that was gonna be my like staple family vehicle where I take the kids to school and all that stuff and it has everything I want. There's seat warmers, navigation, like all that stuff, all the bells and whistles. Every other car on the side is gonna be a toy, so I would probably lease all the other cars on the side, including this one. Uh, up until I saw the Audi RS7 the other day and I was like fuck I think I rather just get a used one because you can't really lease used cars at least you can with Audi I was like I might as well just get a used one because I really really want it and a brand new lease is a fuck ton I think they said it was 2500 which is pretty much rent for most people so I can't justify like with the baby on the way like I it's I can afford it with my fin with my finances but I can't justify it. My Chinese side is like, what are you doing? That's fucking rent, that's crazy. Even though I work hard for the money, I'm still like, oh, I can't do it. So, um, just counting down the days for this bad boy. So you're only, you're only gonna see him in a few more videos. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this guy. <laughs>
I want to make sure that um, I check up on all that stuff. So I want to get a full physical done, check all my blood work, all my blood levels. And then also additionally, um, while I was in Hawaii, I noticed something really strange where when I peed on the toilet, uh, the next, <laughs> not purposely peeing on the toilet, but when I peed, the next morning there'd be a bunch of ants all over the toilet where the splatter was. And um, the thing to focus on is not the splatter, but the ants. So I was reading online that that could be first signs of diabetes. So I'm like, oh shoot, I hope I don't have diabetes. So I want to get that checked up too because uh, there could be sugar content in my urine. Hopefully it's normal or it's a, 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 nor a normal amount. I also know that I'm just a sweet motherfucker, so I'm just sugary sweet all over the place, but I want to make sure that I am in a good, healthy condition and I should be training and I should be pushing my body as hard as I am. I just want to make sure everything is cool, which is why I'm here. I just peed into the urine cup and now I have to turn this in into this uh, specimen box where they're gonna pretty much um, assess my urine. I got the blood test. And uh, now I'm gonna wait for the lab to analyze both my urine and my blood sugar. And hopefully um, there's nothing wrong with me. Um, when he took the blood test, the guy was like, ooh, we might have to do it again. So I don't know um, when it's gonna be. Like, I really hope that there's nothing wrong with me and I don't have diabetes, but who knows. Jill's so cute. She knows I'm getting a physical today. So she's checking up on me and she wrote, how's it going, Papa? And I wrote, Good so far, mama. Just got my finger pricked and took my urine sample. Next, they're gonna check my anal cavity for Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> and then she goes, ha 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 ha, are they really gonna check your butt But I like messing with her. Of course not. Yes. <laughs> See what she says. I wrote, yes, they are gonna check my butt But Yeah. Um. I don't know if I really tell Marbra this enough, but she's actually a really, really good wife. And she really cares about me through all my big moments in life. She's always there and concerned. And she's always there to, like even when I'm coughing in the middle of the night, like she'll wake up just to make sure that I'm okay. And the amount of love that she gives me is really, really insane. And I'm, uh, I'm very appreciative for it. Thanks, Marbra. I know um, you may or may not watch this because this is gonna be embedded in this huge long video, but if you do, this will be a nice q &A surprise for you. I love you. So good news, I don't have diabetes. I have no sugar in my urine and uh, the glucose levels in my blood was normal. So I'm really, really happy about that. On another note though, my doctor was so cool. She saw the tattoo on my leg um, and she was like, oh, what does that say? And I was like, fear no one. And she was like, what language is it in? And I was like, Japanese. And then and we started talking about going to Japan and she's going to Japan this summer. And I was like, you have to, have to try Ichiran. It's so, so bomb. It's the best ramen we ever had. And we had it like three days in a row. And then uh, because it's such a um, like professional environment, I was like, it's almost like they put drugs in the ramen. And she was like, like crack. And it was just so funny to hear a doctor speak like that. So that was awesome. It was, it was, it's always awesome to have like such a human experience in a professional environment. So now they're going to come in and uh, get my blood work done, the test for the cholesterol and all that stuff. And um, we realized I need my vaccinations. One is for my tetanus shot, because you're supposed to get that every 10 years, and I haven't had it since the military. And the other one is called a DTAP, I believe, and it's for whooping cough. So uh, after we get all that stuff, I should be set. I'm just so happy. I don't have diabetes and I am very, very healthy. got to the office lots of changes happening so um, while I was driving I scheduled an appointment with this company that's supposed to come and inspect my car before I turn the lease in and that's gonna happen uh, next Monday so it's a reality I'm getting rid of the car um, there's one side of me that's just really excited because of the new car I'm gonna get but there's another side of me that I'm like feeling really sentimental I'm like oh man I had a really fun couple of years with that vehicle and I'm gonna lose it it was my baby and it was like my first dream car that I ever owned like honestly if, if I had to pick between either a Porsche or a Ferrari or a Lambo and if, if that were to be my daily driven car I'd pick a Porsche you know it's meant to be daily driven it's a daily driven race car and Ferraris and Lambos are awesome and they're really really flashy 
but you can't have like a triple decker chocolate chip ice cream cake every single day you know but you can have a bomb ass steak every day so uh, that's where my heart's at feeling kind of sad now i'm getting to the office i have a uh, skype meeting with joe and then work on the feature film a little bit more so i'll see you guys then this is actually the progress on our movie i don't want to get too close in case there are idea stealers out there but this is pretty much where our movie is at right now every single post-it is going to be a scene and then we have notes and um, this is the simplified version all the dense notes are on a google drive and we have a pretty much finalized story and treatment so um, now it's getting really close to the point where we're gonna get really close to scripting so i'm super super excited but yes we have been working on the movie in case you guys have been wondering and it looks really clean here because like i said all the intricate details are um in the drive but just a secret heads up so most movies uh if you watch regular like blockbuster movies there's only a story meaning there's only one main storyline um which is like oh the transformers are coming and they're gonna blow up the world and then there might have a b story uh which is like the romantic relationship of like shia labeouf and, and those two start getting intertwined and when you have uh more in-depth movies like a uh, like a oscar winning contender there might be two three four five six seven eight storylines where there's like the storylines for everyone like even in super bad which is a really good movie there's a storyline for jonah hill storyline for michael Sarah, the storyline of them trying to get the alcohol and and all of that and for us we have uh a b c d e f g one two three four five six seven we have seven storylines so this movie is going to be very very heartwarming captivating it's going to have death as well as action and a lot of comedy so i can't wait to share it with you guys lunch time i got some meal prep bulgogi threw some kimchi on there i spilled one while putting it on so the responsible side of me tells me i have to throw it away the chinese side of me wants me to eat it i'll be responsible throw it away in the trash can what are you eating joe sashimi and sushi i need a yeah. lot of clean protein because i lived on the wild side and i got a pizza last night oh where would you get the pizza from um this place called brazos or burros or i forgot the name it starts with the b it's on seven you know i found out why pizza is so delicious and why <laughs> everyone is uh addicted to it because it's full of fat yeah did you know carbs? there's uh opiates and cheese oh really and I melted cheese damn that's crazy that's why there's Drugs. this like um like there's this everyone like even the deem who doesn't like cheese he loves pizza <laughs> so there's something in the cheese that no matter what it's mm. like i have never met anyone that hated pizza it does hit the spot i know it just it's like a drug it is <laughs> stay off of pizza mm. kids <laughs> awesome, huh? yeah, yeah. try not to have diarrhea <laughs> we, we had just a, had like a spicy wing chow yeah i think was it from buffalo wild wings or something like that and i had diarrhea for like the next three shits yeah oh, it was God. pretty bad and then we've done like a lot of spicy challenges and i was like okay we got to relax from these for a minute <laughs> yeah. so i completely forgot that the skype meeting was to play bird or bliss with vat night seed and it's this row of chocolates where some of them are spicy and some of them are not and uh, we got burned. We ended up losing. We're playing battleships with the grid. And I just ate lunch, so I'm full. And so the whole time I was just spitting liquids out because I'm trying to rinse my mouth out. And then now we have our feature film meeting. So me and Joe are going to be talking really funny during this whole meeting. But time to get back to work. Now I'm with Ma Bear. And we're going to a secret place. Disneyland? No. Damn it. <laughs> but this is probably better. For whom? For me. Oh, okay. So remember I was telling you guys I was on the market for a car because I'm going to trade in the Porsche. Um, I've been emailing the guy back and forth and we finally settled on a price that I'm happy with. I got my credit application approved. Oh, shit. So now I'm going to go take a look at it and test drive it oh sure and if everything is good i might be coming home 
with another car. Another so, one. Another one. So I'm a for like a short week or two, I'm gonna have three cars. That's ballin'. Hey, 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 we share the truck. So we're gonna have four cars, oh, including fuck. this one. It'll be the Beamer, the Porsche, the truck, and then also the, the new new. The new new. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Fucking badass. This is better than your Porsche. <laughs> it's better than your Porsche. It is honestly. The guy, it only has 13,000 miles. I've had my car for almost two years and it's 11, and that's crazy because um, for a year, the average mileage that you put on your car is about 12,000. Yeah, so, especially living in California. This is really good. Yeah, the it's, inside. He's never touched it. The inside is fucking mint condition. Look at this. It's like he never ever drove like it the red. oh my god what red this the whatever that is the disc the whatever oh the, the calipers the calipers, calipers. it's oh, cool because yeah. it's red and then red yeah you gonna take yeah. the windows hell yeah i have to damn i like the carbon is fiber it, trim is yep look how thick the glass it's not is that thick. this it's is like mine the feel other yours. one was thicker no feel yours fine i felt like the other one was thicker no feel yours fine your homie's back and then the carbon fiber Side mirror that folds up. Can you start your next film? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's already started. Pop there. Yeah. Paperwork signed. Yeah. Oh, taking Gee, the pictures. Happy? I'm excited. Okay, because because a lot of this depended on on your no, on I'm your approval. I'm good. No, you did a great job. <laughs> People have to come visit you because you did an amazing job. I'm trying Thank to you. figure out the best angle. He sure, spent yeah. like two weeks talking to Bart about this and I know Bart's a tough cookie so the fact that he hung in there and like made this happen is awesome. This is awesome. He's putting on that it's sticker. So, it's your temporary registration. Yep. <laughs> it's good for six months. <laughs> so if, if people want to get an Audi, who do they, who do they need to talk to? Uh, I would prefer that they give me a call. My name is Larry Goodkin. Nice. Uh, you can reach me uh, directly. Just call the receptionist, ask for Larry, and I'll be more than happy to uh, accommodate you and get you into the car of your dreams. Yep. I agree. That sounds rehearsed. I mean, been doing this, you've been doing it for years. Been a master of ceremonies for over 50 years. Oh, okay. He's awesome. I, 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 I run events. Tell you what, you have your phone handy? Go yeah. on to Amazon. Oh. Type and type my name in. On Amazon? On Amazon. Wow. Okay. okay. You're not the only one that could be found online, okay? Oh, well, this is a little different. I think it's going to surprise you. Okay. What if he's like in wrestling? -T -K -I -N. Okay. Right, we're Amazoning it. Throw a party. So, you want to throw a party? What is this? You have a book? I have a book. That That's is awesome. awesome. Who are How you? To plan a party from beginning to end like a pro without all the headaches while keeping the joy in. Who wow. is Larry is a man of mystery. We don't know what don't he know does. Me, but you know what? I sell you a car and you can drive it to your party and then I'll play for you at your party <laughs> and perform and MC everything. Man, you're good. Awesome. Yeah, nice so there you go. Come to Resnick, Pasadena, and then talk to Larry. He's the man and he'll like take you on the roads that you need to go to to like test drive your car like this one he took us on some back end streets it was awesome you both have really great speaking voices you oh thank you uh, yeah. thanks <laughs> it just started yesterday oh cool um here we go papa's first time officially driving it because it's his He still doesn't know any of the features on the car, so um, Larry, who's awesome by the way, I keep saying that, but uh, he's helping him out, so <laughs> he's gonna pull it out right now. Hey. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> West side. I guess I came home with the car. <laughs> Just got back home. We're really tired. It's late. I'm still hungry. Marver's hungry and Fawn is freaking trying to wait for food to drop on the ground. But uh, we're going to call it a night. And uh, hopefully I can give you guys a better, uh, more in-depth tour of the RS7 in the daytime. But Tell that thing... me you said that this is the first time you were so scared of a car. So I'll explain that in the next video. <laughs> but... Uh, but just know he almost died. But this is the first time I've ever been scared of a car. I've never been in a car stay tuned. with 550 horsepower and Woo! that thing is a beast. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. More to come.